Hello everyone, it's Wala Ladipo here. In this video, I'm going to show you how I do going to Glasgow, Glasgow from Bradford. I actually did the same journey a few weeks ago when I was on holiday with my family. Five people in the car and four bikes on the roof. And we did about 1.6 uh, kilowatt uh, hour. So that means about 120 miles per single charge, something that is supposed to give us about 250, 240, 250 miles on a single charge, you know, with the EQC. But because of the winds and the whole bunch of drugs, we managed to do only 120. So I'm going by myself. This is a business trip. So there's nobody in the car, just my, you know, my smart shirts for, for business. And you know the boots is not overloaded. <laughs> the boots just contains my you know my ba little bag. I'm going for two, three, for three nights. Uh, so I want to see the difference. So I'm going to let you know. Make sure you watch this uh, this this clip to the end. You'll be able to know how much I do. Now it's telling me that I've got one estimated time of arrival is around. 6 04. What time do we have right now? What time is it right now? The time right now is 2 17, and it's telling me that I've got 237 miles to drive. But the tricky thing is that I've got 207 miles on my range. <laughs> is it possible for me to make it there without charging on the way? Because that would be fantastic. Do you know why? Because the hotel that I'm going, we, we, it was the hotel, same hotel that uh, my family and I stayed when we were there a few weeks ago. And they have the charging facility for free. Yeah! So I just need to get this car <laughs> to that hotel and I'm going to charge it fully charged for free. That is fantastic. Something that could have cost me Maybe be 50 pound or 55 pound if I use I only to charge from zero to eight uh, to 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 100 percent or if I use the small it's slower charges probably maybe around 25 30 pounds so but first of all I need to get this car there so 207 on my battery for some reason I don't know I couldn't charge it properly I think it's full yeah it's full it's full only that I've not been economical with my last trips. So it's calculated the range uh, based on my last trips. I can actually stretch that further if I'm good. And the temperature and the, you know, we have 20, 20 degrees, 20.5 20 degrees. And it's not particularly windy today. Perhaps uh, it could favor um, an economic driving range. So that's what I want to do. So I'm going to let you know how that's going, uh, whether I'm forced to charge at some point or I make it to my destination safely. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, guys, it's Wally here. Now, I have done 156 miles. Coming out of Bradford, I hit a very massive traffic. There was a big accident. Overturned cars and, you know, emergency crew, they had to come in. And there was a huge queue in fact about an hour i had to go through a detour a different road entirely and there was there was a traffic there as well because everybody was trying to get through the same traffic <laughs> so eventually i lost about an hour so I, I i kind of added about maybe 15 miles on top of the of the of the uh about 10 to 15 miles on 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 my journey so what happens is that I've actually done very well. Look at that, 2.8 uh, mile per kilowatt. So on a full charge, I'll be doing about 230, 235, uh, which is not bad. You know, the the maximum is about 250, 250 255. So, but now I need to charge. Look, I've got, I've got 88 miles to go right there 
but I've got 63 range, 63 miles range. So there's no way, even there's no way I'll be able to make it. Doesn't matter how economical. Perhaps if I put a maximum range and I, I drive 30 miles an hour on a motorway, on a, <laughs> on a highway, that's, that's very dangerous. So I don't want to do that. So I'm now at the Gretna Grain. Uh, actually, you, normally I will go to the Ionity uh, uh, charging station, charges over there. And that is ridiculously expensive, about 69 pence uh, 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 per kilowatt hour. So I've come over here. I just, uh, I've not actually checked this one. This one's about 50 kilowatts uh, charger. This is the first time I'm going to be using this. So I'm going to show you whether it's actually working. It might, might have broken. Uh, let's see. So this is the ecotricity. Okay, it appears to save the eco electricity is broken but now that's the problem that we have with the with the electric cars look at the, the number of cars here and we only have two charges and this is broken as far as i'm concerned and i have to arrange this number right here apart from the tesla uh superchargers over there I got four of them right there. Uh, so when you've purchased an expensive car and you can't charge your car when you're traveling. And that is the problem. Now I'm possibly going to have to go and use this super expensive um, um, Ionity charger which is ridiculous. Now this is about 50 kilowatts and it's usually cheaper because I've got time. I think I've got about 30, 45 minutes. So I can wait to, to charge the car without paying the stationary rate. So it's, it's disappointing. Uh, not everybody wants to drive a Tesla. It's not great cars, but I don't want to drive a Tesla. I want to drive a Mercedes. Uh, Mercedes doesn't have their own chargers. So I have to depend on the mediocre chargers that can, that can just break down any time. And with no, with, no, with no respect for my own time and for my own lifestyle. So it's, 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 uh, it's, it's disappointing. Okay, so it's broken. I'm going to have to go and look for another one to charge. Uh, perhaps right. I've got about 60 miles left, so I might have to just go to the next um, service station to see whether I could charge there. Speak to you. Yeah, I am at the IONT charging station, as you can see there. That's super expensive. Uh, this was the one I couldn't get my Mercedes Mi app to work for me. So this is 69 pence uh, per kilowatt hour. That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Thinking of getting an EV? think again <laughs> you're better with your diesel car <laughs> so it's now charging 69 pains an hour uh, as you can see if I go to this other one you're able to see how much look at that 69 pains per, per kilowatt hour 69 pains Per uh, kilowatt hour, that is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I'm only charging for five minutes here, trust me. Just put about, about 20, 30 miles on top, because I've got 60 miles range left. I just need a little bit of a top up to get to my hotel where I can char charge for free. So what is, what is the problem with us? We've got an electric car and we're being ripped off constantly. So anyway, you know, there are other EVs coming in and hopefully they're happy with their services, but I'm not. This is ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. 
Hey everyone, it's Wally here. I'm, I'm, I've arrived. I've arrived at my destination. Uh, arrived, arrived, arrived. Now, remember that when I stopped, I actually put, I put, uh, I eventually went to the Ionity Charger and I, I put about 35 miles on the range. I, I got to the, to Gretna Green with about 60 miles left on the range and I put about maybe 35 miles on it. It took about five minutes, uh, super fast. And they charged me about 10 pounds for that. That's crazy. So remember, I needed to travel for about 92 miles and I have, and I have about 95 miles of range after adding about 35 miles. Uh, it was tight. But the good thing is that I put it on the eco. There was a time I was averaging, you know, I had about 92, about, about 80 miles left and of, of, of mileage to cover. And I've got 80 miles, 80 miles of uh, range left. So they kind of follow each other. Then I decided to put an eco from, uh, I've been driving on Comfort. Comfort uses more energy. Then eco saved the day. Remember that if you drive, if you drive uh, an EV. So let me just show you what is left. 12 miles is left on the range. If you see that? And I've covered 243 uh, in total. And I average 2.8 miles, which is fantastic. 2.8. So that means around maybe 235, 230 uh, for a single charge, which is not bad. Remember last time that I came here with my family, we actually, we average, we averaged about 1.6 because four bikes were on top. So it's, it pays to travel, to travel land. Absolutely. So I've done about 235, 230 today per single charge. When I came with my family, five people in the car, four bikes on top, we did about 120. 120 miles per single charge. Uh, never put uh, bikes or whatever, racks or whatever on top of an EV. It's not good. Use the, use the tow bar racks instead. So now I'm here. This is my hotel. If you've been watching my video, I was just in this, this hotel a while ago with my family. And see the environment. It's the same environment. There's the big car park. And that's the hotel right there. It's the Hilton Combinat. And they have this charger. Now it's free for those who are using the hotel. It's free. And that is uh, that's fantastic for me. Because I'm low at the moment and it's 50 kilowatts. 50 kilowatts, I just want to stop this. So what I want to do right now is to ensure that I start the charging process. And this is, uh, which one do I use right now? CCS, 50 kilowatts. Hopefully it's working. If it's not, then I've got an issue. I have to go and find. Oh, there's a there's a charge master over there. I've got a cable, and uh, I've got I've got um, a membership for the charge master. So it seems to be okay. Start. Hey, it seems to be charging. It's loading. If it turns green, and I've hit the jackpot. Yeah! So my charging issue has been taken care of right now. Uh, I charged that to the full. Um, and that's for free. Courtesy 
of using a, a ride or tail at the right time. It's telling me from 6%. It's delivering at 33. I think it's climbing right now, 34, 35 kilowatts. Eventually, it's probably going to reach uh, 47, 50 kilowatts. And I'm going to finish at 10, 20 p.m. I go and find something to eat. Uh, it's around uh, fifth quarter past eight right now. Been traveling for about six hours. So go and find something to eat and take some rest, check in. Then by 10 20 p.m i'll be back to collect my fully charged car so ladies and gentlemen it's a pleasure sharing with you i uh, hope you've been you've enjoyed the session today uh, please subscribe and like it uh, if you uh, if it's entertained you and uh, maybe you found one or two things uh, helpful in the video it's what i like to call the very best bye bye